Shelby Blues Hello angels and welcome back to my channel. Firstly, if you are new, hello, welcome, come on in, take a seat and get cosy. My name is Sophie aka Sophrina. I make three videos every single week and I would love it if you could join my wonderful family here on YouTube. Today we are doing something very exciting. We are spring speed cleaning the home. So this video is probably going to be in two parts, maybe even three parts. It's in my mind, a spring clean has to be a huge, huge clean of your household. And yeah, it's probably gonna be more than one video, let's be real. So today we're going to start off with the downstairs area. Also, I know it's not spring yet, I do understand that, and I'm not wishing the year away. I actually love winter, that's a weird fact about me, I love the cold weather, but it is coming up to spring, and also, me personally like spring clean just tends to mean massive clean like today's video is also really exciting because it has been sponsored by a brand you guys know i don't do these too often but when i do i do them because i love the brand and it's a good brand that i want to recommend to you guys so Today's video is sponsored by The Rug Doctor. If you haven't heard about The Rug Doctor, The Rug Doctor basically offers carpet cleaning, rug cleaning, car cleaning equipment to hire, to buy, and also the products to clean your home or your car with. So essentially, they're going to be absolutely perfect to be part of today's video. And they sent me one of their carpet cleaning machines. And let me tell you, this is a machine. We had it delivered this week and wow, it's pretty big, but it looks amazing. And I have actually previously watched vlogs where this product has been featured in and it looks so, so good. And I am so excited to use it, mainly because I've been living in this house for over three years now and my carpets have never been professionally cleaned. Yeah, that's embarrassing. I'm doing it now and what better time to clean your carpets, your rugs, your sofas, your stairs than in a big spring speed clean with me. So today we're also going to be cleaning my carpets. Get yourselves comfy, get yourselves a cup of tea and let's get cleaning. Okay, so Honestly, the first thing I like to do before cleaning is get myself a cup of tea and today I'm making tea in my Anthropology mug. I get a lot of questions about this mug, it's from Anthropology, and I love it. After I've made my tea, I also like to light candles around the house just to make it smell nice and get me in the mood. So one of the candles I'm lighting for today's speed clean is a candle I got from HomeSense and it smells lovely. It smells like pure flowers and lavender and this just makes your whole house smell so fresh. Okay, so I'm not going to lie, my living room is a total tip. The first thing I'm going to do is start moving everything off the floor so I can get on with my carpet cleaning. I'm actually so excited to use it at this point because I haven't even tested it right now. So yeah, I mean, as you can see in the carpet itself, there are lots and lots of stains, especially by the door where everybody walks in and out. And we also have a huge drink stain where my partner spilled some drink on my floor not long ago. So we're going to see if this carpet cleaner can actually get rid of these. So I have all these amazing products from the Rug Doctor as well to use with the machine. This little bottle you see here comes in the box with the carpet cleaner. I'm also going to use the big bottle of carpet detergent. This you basically mix with the clean water in the machine. I'm also going to test out the high foot traffic cleaner spray because I think that will be good for all the dark stains I have around my door at the moment. 
Okay, so the instructions that come with the Rug Doctor are very, very clear and it's actually so easy to use. But all you do really is pour some detergent into the little detergent cap and use this to add into your clean water tank. Do sing me shall be blues and I... Plug it in and I'm ready to go. Honestly, I really hope this clears some of the stains on my carpet, but let's see. So just a side note, that stain that I showed you under the rug, as you can see, has now completely gone. I was so impressed. So now I'm going to try and clean the carpets near my back door. Now honestly, this is a high traffic area, so it's so discoloured over here on this carpet and it's just filthy to be honest. I found the machine picked up a lot of dirt, but I did have to switch on the Super Boost because this section is so, so stained. I also used the high traffic spray on this area and that worked really well. So as it's a spring clean I thought I would go all out and also use the hand pump section you get with the carpet cleaner. This I used under my sofas especially because the hoover never gets there and there's always like dust and dirt that needs picking up so that was also really easy to use. So just before we get on with the organisation of the living room and kitchen area, I also decided to clean the carpets in the hallway because, let's be honest, once you start, you just cannot stop. Okay guys, so now I'm basically just pouring out the dirty water and getting on with the rest of the tidying. Honestly, look how filthy that water is. But to be honest, I was actually so impressed with how clean my carpets were. So I do highly recommend this product, to be honest. It is definitely part of my spring cleaning routine every year now. So next, I'm going to move on to basically organizing and tidying up the sofa area in my living room. This honestly gets into such a mess, especially after a night of chilling out and watching movies with the boyfriend. So the next thing I like to do is polish all the wooden surfaces I have. So I'm just using these polish wipes that I had left over in my house, but you can use anything, a spray and a cloth normally works well for me.
Okay, so next up I need to clear this wicker basket area because I always just dump things on there and P.S. did you catch me sobbing about the Christmas radio times that I now need to throw in the recycling bin. Okay, so next I'm clearing up my dining table which tends to be a dumping ground during the day. So once I've organised this I will wipe it down with some bleach wipes or dental wipes and then with some wooden polish. So now Christmas is over, I like to put new things on display that remind me of the coming season. So anything garden, anything to do with being motivated or self-motivating yourself, and also some greenery. We'll do shooters in the paradise bar. Jesus slam tequilas on the cross for you and for me. Yeah. Take a cruise. Sandals full of sand My head is spinning in circles and circles And I hate the ocean Get me back on the land Where the tap water is free Yeah Phony holiday God take me away Poolside full of tourists in Chinese take away But I've been chewing on magic roots And quaking in my boots I'm waiting Worst of it all. Okay, so now it's time to clean the kitchen. So the kitchen is an absolute total mess. We did host dinner this week for some friends. Also, if you'd like to see a kitchen cupboard organization, let me know by giving me a thumbs up because that video might be coming soon. So the first thing I like to do when cleaning my kitchen is get rid of everything that's just sitting on the worktop. So put any clean bowls and plates away, anything dirty, put in the washing bowl. Belly full of lard, send you a postcard. The worst of it really hit me. This hard. pile of mess here is basically all of our recycling. We tend to just dump it there and then take it out to the big recycling bin in the garden, probably once every two days, and yeah, it's really built up. Okay, so moving on to the actual clean of the kitchen, I'm going to use the country garden flora that I bought from Poundland and I will first of all fill up a warm bowl of water with the Sephora and this will make the house smell wonderful while I'm basically cleaning. Okay so moving on to washing my dirty plates and cups. First thing I do is fill the tub with hot water and then I add a little bit of the Country Garden Zoflora and also some fairy liquid. So personally I get through a lot of these, these are the best things for washing your plates and bowls but also to scrubbing down surfaces because it has a soft but also a rough patch to it. Okay, so cleaning down my kitchen sides, I start with the warm Sephora water that I prepared earlier and then I will use other products to really get rid of the food and grease that might be sitting there. I feel like when you go over the sides with the Sephora mix, it makes your whole kitchen smell nice for days, so that's why I always start with this step. Thank you. 
The next product I tend to always use is the Method Spray and this is absolutely brilliant for getting rid of grease on your worktops and also making your worktop shiny. So as you can see I'm also spraying the tiles with the Method Cleaner as well. This really helps them to shine bright and clean and it just gets the grease off. So moving on to my favourite part which is the hob. The first thing I use is the Astonish Kitchen Cleaner Lemon Flavour. This really gets rid of grease and grime. And then I turn on the heat. This really helps the bleach do its stuff and when you come down to wiping down the surface the grease and grime just comes off really easily and quickly. Obviously you can only do that if you have an electric hob. So after I've done that I like to get a cloth, this could be a microfiber cloth, and just wipe down the hob and this will take off any excess dirt and basically just gives it a lovely polish. But how the changes came about my way And how I wonder if I'll ever see another Okay, hands up if you watched my last speed cleaning video where I was trying to teach my boyfriend how to organise the knives and forks by brand. So on the left hand side I have normal knives and forks and on the right hand side we have Disney themed knives and forks. Okay, so cleaning down the drain area because this can get really filthy from all the water stains. I use the Astonish Kitchen Cleaner again. This is so, so good for picking things up. I then give the bleach area a good scrub with this kitchen brush. And this really helps get off any stains, any food that's just left there. And also any watermarks you see around the drainage area. It's just that I've been losing for so Okay, so this corner of the kitchen is always kind of messy. It's where I keep all of my washing stuff for washing my clothes. So I just give that a little bit of an organise and then I go over it with the dental wipes because it's not actually dirty here at all. And now for the finishing touches, some flowers and also some lavender room spray. Days I sit on cornerstones and count the time in cardic tones to ten. Oh, please don't confront me with my failures. Oh, I have not forgotten.